today we're gonna take Sepperlings for a spin. Now, sadly, Sepperlings will never really work. They will never be a meta deck or a tier one deck because they do suffer from the things that most tribe decks do suffer from, and that is the lords are extremely weak. And if you remove their lord, well, there's not much else you're left with. You're left with a bunch of tokens without buffs. Your second lord is the Dryad, and he's a 2-2, so if he gets removed, again, you are left with a bunch of 1-1s that can't really defend themselves. Now, this deck is obviously missing a few pieces, but even if you had every single card to make Sapperlings, this deck wouldn't be that good. Now, obviously, the green-white token deck is a lot better than this Sapperling deck, and doesn't suffer from the same problem but then again if you're gonna play the token deck then you're gonna have to spend a lot of wild cards to even build the base anyway let's have a look at the deck it is basically a ramp with sepperlings with a lord and some support the support comes in the form of the knight to deal with enchantments we have the conclave as our only removal we have our single copy of Ajani, and we have Karn as our card draw engine, and that's about it. Buffers, we have the Lord and the Dryad, and of course we have the Elephant, which is actually a really good card, and is being used in the proper token deck. You would be surprised to know that this deck actually kind of worked. Now, obviously it's a bit all over the place, but the matchmaking was very kind to us. We don't have like powerful cards that people craft a lot, so the power level was kept really low, and as a result, the games we had was actually kind of fun to play. But obviously, if you try to play this in constructed queue or in any paid queued, you will get absolutely destroyed, and anyone with a goblin chain waller would just laugh and kill all your poor saplings. Anyway, let's jump over to some gameplay, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Project signing out. Enjoy the clips. Uh, apparently this deck is so terrible that I keep meeting just new people. Oh well. That is kind of awkward. How about this hand though? If I can keep drawing lands, yes. If I can't, then well... This could get really awkward. Ooh, goblins, hello. Please do not remove my elf. Please don't remove my elf. Pass the turn. Obviously he is going to have to accept his goblin through all the faces. There we go. Let's see if he goes for an elf hate. Ah, he's hovering it. Yeah, there's the shock. Alright, let's go for another... Hmm. Let's go for another elf. Please don't chuck the elves. I really need it this time, actually. Let's see. He has access to four mana. Let's see what he does with it. He's hovering his own goblin. Is he considering sacrificing? He's passing the turn. I like that. That is phenomenal. Let's bring out the champion. Now, obviously, he has removals in his hand, I would assume, at least. So he's probably gonna delete something. Or not? Did he really have a dead turn 3 with a aggro deck? Interesting. Hmm. It's hard to imagine that actually. Boros Skilled Gate. Hmm. Clarion, okay. I am somewhat surprised. Let's go with the Lord here. Maybe he can bait another removal. And if he can't remove the Lord, I can just bring in more Sapperlings. A Dino. Hmm. That is not a problem. However, I would really enjoy having lands. Usually I don't get mana screwed like this with only 23 lands. Alright, there's Siege Gang Commander. With friends. How do we deal with this? Obviously he's gonna Siege Gang Commander the Lord. 
if I summon the other lord, then he has to siege can commander both. But that will mean he still has one token on the field. Let's summon the knight instead, and let's gain plus two plus two. It accomplished pretty much the same thing. Let me think, if I attack with the ah, Lord, hmm, he's obviously gonna try to kill it, I would, but he's never gonna block with Siege and Commander, so that means two tokens. Which means he has to use either two one token and siege can to get rid of the knight or a removal spell next turn. Let's go with it. I rather he dies to the tokens now, so he can't use the tokens with siege can commander's effect. I mean yes, I could hope that he doesn't have a removal and he doesn't kill the lord and save it for the other lord, but that is way more risky to do. All right, let's see. Looks like he... Mm, okay. Sacrifice. He maybe have a shock in hand. He... Oh, he has an instigator. But he doesn't have enough mana now. And I'm gonna take this trade. Gladly. I gladly get rid of Siege Gang Commander's ability for that trade. And I'm gonna have to pay life for this, right? Yes. War Chief, okay, that's fine. Ooh, this might be a deal breaker soon. Although I do believe we actually have a huge advantage here. What do we do now? Let's see, we have five mana. We can summon the Dryad. All right, let's summon the Dryad. This is really awkward to do. No attacks. We're gonna get our little token. Is the token enough to save us? Or am I gonna have to trade out? Okay, that's gonna force me to trade everything. But I don't die from that. Hmm. Obviously he has to attack now. I'm only gonna block that guy. Let's see, one, two. That should be enough. We get another token. There is Khan. Let me have a look at this. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sadly, I don't have enough for the kicker. It's really risky summoning the elephant. Let's not do it. Let's just pass the turn. We'll get another token. Obviously, when out the city's blessing as well. So, unless he starts to go straight face, which he doesn't, I think we have it. <laughs> hmm, where are all the lands? Let's keep this again. Let's play it risky. Blue. Oh, mono blue, great. A land. I take it. Blue, red, so I guess in wizards. Hmm. Are you gonna summon anything? Shot a course. Okay. Ah, let's see. Let's summon the first lord. Could it be Drake's? I doubt I would meet Drake's this slow. That is a real issue because I don't have any real way to deal with it. Spells kite. Alright, this is just gonna be aggro against aggro. Oh look, now the lord. Uh, beat down with lords. I 
Okay, go face with two. Make it uh, one, two. There we go. Maybe has a shock in the hand. Well, he obviously has something. Oh, yes. Uh, wait. Pirates? So it's pirates. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense. Let's resummon the Lord. Let's summon the other Lord and beat down with Lords. This is kind of awkward. <laughs> Alright, next turn it's going to be Karn and Tokens, I do believe. He obviously has more pirates that can return to the hand, so convoking with the Loxodon is a big no-no. I just need to win on the tempo now. But he has four mana open and he should have hard removals. Alright, tech with everyone. If I don't block anything, I can almost kill him next turn. Okay, it doesn't have anything to alter the combat state. Otherwise, he would never pull back with the pirate. If I had a way to actually deal with ooh, my things. Hmm. Let's summon Karn. Do you have a counter spell? He has something he can react to. Hmm. Okay. I will make a token. What will you do against this? Nothing for now, okay. Now, I'm aware that Karn might die next turn, but I'm just going super aggro here. See if I can just win by beatdown. That was curious. He could have a sleep in his hand if he's willing to take that much damage. Play sleep here and one into Karn or three into Karn and rest into me. Curious. Alright, there's the mage returning a lord. That is nowhere near enough. This is quite bizarre. What is his plan here? I don't get it. All into me, okay. That's fine. I'm not I can't even block any of them really. Do I want to take three? Yes, I can take three, that's fine. There's no way he has enough damage to kill me, or to even block next turn. Did I win another one? I'm so surprised. What does he actually have in his hand? I really want to know. I really wish, when people lost or forfeited, that you got to see the opponent's hand. Alright, there is a lightning strike. But yeah, that's not enough. I won another one. Huh. Ah, uh, blue. Ooh. This could be awkward. Uh, I gotta pay for this and summon an elf. Uh, please do not thought erase me on the second turn here. Ah, uh, bollocks. Thought erasure. Uh, okay, never mind. That was surprising. Let's summon another elf and let's summon a lord. I was really sure he was gonna thought to rage me right there. Uh, I'm really land screwed though. Well, if this game doesn't end like in the first few turns, this might be a real long one. I doubt either of us has... Nanny? Why would you not draw your Ritual of Soth? That is a real head-scratcher. Ah, Counter Spell, okay. Sinister Sabotage. 
Eh, yeah, that's fine. Don't care too much if you get rid of my car. That was a Doom Whisperer. Oh. Okay, this game is out of hand now. Now I really need to draw a conclave. Not quite yet, but it needs to be soonish. And let's see, so I put the Doom Whisperer in the graveyard together with a Ritual of Soth. That is very bizarre. I can't quite explain it at all. Five mana. Uh, what is the chance he has another counter spell to deal with the Dryad? Hmm. Alright, let's start with the Shepherd. Okay, it does not actually have a counter spell. If it had, it would be a long pause. Like the way you know if someone has a counter spell or not, if they don't have full control on, is if the turn passes immediately, then they have uh, nothing to do as a response. Which means obviously if you actually try harding or play constructed, you should always have full control on just so you can pretend that you actually have something relevant. Now, however, it's really interesting to turn off full control because one mana, there's no way he can counter the Dryad. And I believe I have the Citus Blessing as well here, right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, I will have the Citus Blessing. But I would imagine he has murder somewhere in that deck. And more importantly, he probably has another Ritual of Soth. All attack minus the Lord and Mr. Elf. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, go, Mr. Elf. Well, I would imagine he has another ritual soft to deal with his board. I doubt he will just die from all these tokens. Wait, he actually needs two black for ritual soft, and he doesn't have a second black. Oh, he's digging. He dug away a campaign. Makes sense. Uh, did he actually just lose? He lost. There's nothing he's going to be able to do with two mana that matters. And a murder wouldn't save him either. Alright, this game is over. Huh. Another victory for Zapperlings. I'm so surprised. I guess this is my new go-to daily grind deck. Hmm. This is working out splendid.